Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about tacos or tacos, however you may pronounce it. T A C O S, total advertising cost of sales, and A C O S, advertising cost of sales, and whether or not tacos is being used properly in evaluating Amazon PPC performance. Hi, I'm Ngoc Chuang. I'm an Amazon FBA seller selling on Amazon North America region for almost two years now and I have expanded to Amazon Australia as well. My products have been among the top sellers of their respective categories and highly rated consistently. My latest product launch was the Amazon's number one new release in its category. Besides Amazon FBA, I'm also a digital marketing consultant. I have been certified by Google since 2014 and I have had many businesses grow their revenue profitably through PPC advertising on both agency side and client side. I have done a lot of PPC advertising including Amazon PPC as well so I just want to share with you guys what I have learned along the way that have helped me successfully grow my Amazon FBA business. Yes, I'm talking about tacos, total advertising cost of sales, not the tacos that are making your stomach growl right now. Recently, I have seen many Amazon PPC specialists in social media groups, forums, YouTube, blogs, or even ones that I have worked with suggesting using tacos, which in its true definition is the percentage calculated by dividing total advertising cost by total sales to evaluate performance of Amazon PPC instead of using ACOS, Advertising Cost of Sales, an official metric given by Amazon PPC campaign analytics that shows Amazon PPC cost against Amazon PPC sales. There is nothing wrong if tacos is used the way it is meant to be used, showing total advertising cost against total sales on and off Amazon. However, a number of Amazon PPC specialists are referring to tacos as a performance indicator of Amazon PPC solely and they ignore the existence and contribution of other channels that can also drive sales to your Amazon store. They only factor in Amazon PPC cost in calculating tacos. Their tacos is calculated by dividing Amazon PPC cost by total sales, including PPC sales and organic sales, which can be a result of multiple marketing activities, not just Amazon PPC. Their reasoning is that it will give you a bigger picture of Amazon PPC performance because Amazon PPC has a positive impact on organic sales on Amazon. I agree that Amazon PPC has some impact on organic sales on Amazon. However, we haven't yet had any available analytics by neither Amazon nor a third-party software that analyzes the connection and measures how much of the impact of Amazon PPC on organic sales. A side note for those who are not so familiar with metrics on Amazon. So on Amazon, a platform PPC sales that you can find in Amazon campaign analytics. The rest is considered organic sales, uh, which is derived from taking total sales, which you can find in business reports, minus PPC sales. If you have registered trademarks for your products, you will be able to access Amazon Attribution where you can track sales and traffic generated by non-Amazon marketing channels. But that's it. To date, there is no consolidated analytics neither by Amazon nor a third-party software that can give us a complete view of multi-channel attribution for sales generated on Amazon. In my opinion, using tacos that only factors in Amazon PPC cost is inaccurate for the following three reasons. Firstly, if Amazon PPC is your only promotion activity, then in some extent you can use tacos to gauge your Amazon PPC performance. But if you hire somebody to optimize your listings for organic ranks, then using tacos that takes into account only Amazon PPC cost will still give you a distorted picture. Furthermore, 
as I said, we don't have any analytics that shows how much exactly the impact of uh, Amazon PPC on organic sales. And remember that one of the biggest contribution of your organic sales is listing search engine optimization, including organic ranking optimization and listing conversion rate optimization. Secondly, if Amazon PPC is not the only promotion activity that you are doing for your products, for example, besides Amazon PPC, you also doing other on-platform promotions such as deals, coupons or organic sales optimization such as cross-selling on your listings using enhanced brand content features listing SEO, uh, virtual bundles, Amazon Live, or external advertising such as Facebook ads, Google ads, affiliate marketing, influencer marketing, etc. Then using tacos that factors in only Amazon PPC cost uh, to indicate the performance of Amazon PPC is completely misleading. That's when you let Amazon PPC take credit for all other marketing efforts that also contribute to your total sales. The best metric to use to evaluate effectiveness of Amazon PPC in this case is ACOS and TACOS is to show performance of your multi-channel marketing by including costs of all marketing activities. In some circumstances, we can accept a little bit high a cost, for example, when you launch a new product. And as we all agreed, Amazon PPC has some impact on organic sales. However, the main indicator of Amazon PPC performance should still be a cost and it should not be ignored in any evaluation. Last but not least, keywords PPC ranking and organic ranking on Amazon don't have a positive correlation. A keywords organic rank can increase to number 3 for example, but its PPC rank can plummet to 45. The reason is that what decides a keywords PPC rank are not the same as those that decide is organic rank. I will discuss about this further in another talk. So let me quickly show you some examples. Sorry for a little bit messy screenshot. I don't know what I have done with it. But anyway, it still works. That's all we need. So as you can see over here, this keyword is PPC rank has gone up by 40 places to number 3. Whereas its organic rank has dropped by 6 places to number 19. Another similar case here, this keyword is organic rank has improved by 8 places while its PPC rank has gone down by four places within a same period of time and you can test it for yourself if you put your ASINs in analytics tools such as Helium 10 or Jungle Scout you see that it's common to see keywords having a negative correlation between organic and PPC rank. So again, if somebody says you should look at tacos instead of ACOS even though ACOS is through the roof say 200%, that is a red flag, let alone the fact that a keywords PPC rank and organic rank on Amazon are not positively correlated. So Amazon PPC marketers, let me know what you think and thanks for watching and keep an eye out for more videos about Amazon FBA. Bye!